Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I have an ebook haul for you guys. So I got a lot of ebooks in the month of March. I actually downloaded 18. <laughs> And yeah, this video is gonna be maybe probably really long, but I will try to make it as short as possible. Basically, again, like I talked about in my February ebook haul, I get a lot of these for free because I scroll through Amazon in my free time just searching for free ebooks to download. And if one sparks my interest, I just click it, download it there, done. I read the synopsis maybe once. If it sparked my interest in any kind of little way, I downloaded it because who knows when there will be a time where I will enjoy it at some point. I may not be enjoying it right now, but I may be enjoying it in the near future. But it is free, so why not download it now? Because a bunch of these actually aren't free for forever. A bunch of them have a limited time free offer. So I will be going through each book that I purchased again I will be reading the synopsis from my laptop because again I don't remember what these were about a bunch of them so I just read the synopsis for you guys and hopefully that will have you more informed about the book as a whole and if you do like it hey there you go there is a free book for you that you could probably go out and buy and if it isn't free anymore it's probably a really small price as well and again yes I know that a bunch of people don't really enjoy ebooks I didn't either but once you're in college, you kind of have no money. So a free book on your phone is better than no book at all. So anyways, let's get started. The first book that I downloaded this month was In the Arms of a Pirate by Michelle Beatty. And this is apparently the second book in a companion duology, I think. And from the A Sam Steele Romance. This book is also obviously historical romance and is 394 pages. She's his leverage. When Aiden Bradley suddenly remembers his bloody past, he can only think of one thing, killing the bastard responsible. His key, using his enemy's daughter to draw the pirate out. His miscalculation, that he'd soon find himself enticed by her innocence and beauty. He's her rescuer. Sarah Santiago's lived her whole entire life locked away from the world. While naive and innocent, Sarah recognizes attraction when she feels it. And the pirate holding her as bait soon becomes the pirate she wants to hold. The odds are against him. Will Aiden's desire for revenge cost him the woman he loves or will his decision to stand down cost him his life at the blade of the soulless pirate who murdered his mother? So there you have it. Yeah, it is still free as of today. So if that sparks your interest, there you go. Um, this sounds really interesting. I love historical romance books, so hopefully this will be good. For me. The second book that I have here is Pisces. I believe that's how you say it. I'm sorry I'm not a big zodiac person. <laughs> this book series is kind of like each book is the name of a someone's sign and this is by Rachel Medhurst and this is book one in the Zodiac Twin Flame series. This book is also 263 pages. When he ran I gave chase. The bracelet around my wrist is a permanent reminder of my mission. The silver charm attached to the leather cord is stamped as my birth sign. Mission unite with my twin flame soulmate. My siblings and I are named after the star sign we were born under. Each one of us has to find our soulmate before our enemy gets them first. Antony is my bodyguard, a man who is supposed to protect me, not make me want to run. How did knowing him make me face myself? Being kidnapped by my enemy makes me doubt if he is my twin flame. I had always known my mission, but was I ready for love? Pisces is the first book in an epic 12 book young adult romance series called Zodiac Twin Flames. If you love character driven romance with a hard fought for happily ever after, you don't want to miss this series. There is the description for you guys. Seems like a cool YA romance book. The next book that I have is Follow Love by J.A. Croix. Croix? Hopefully that's how you say it. I'm sorry. This is book two in Diamond Creek Alaska novels. And I believe they're like companion books. So you don't really need to read the first one to understand the second. But this book is unfortunately not free anymore. It is $3.99 at the moment. And it is 260 pages. 
On vacation in Diamond Creek, Tess Stanton plans nothing more than fishing and sightseeing. After a rough year that left her convinced love wasn't worth it, the last thing on her mind is falling for a handsome and way too charming fishing guide. Nathan Winters is the quintessential outdoorsman who finds Tess's reserve too tempting to ignore. Despite her qualms, Tess can't resist Nathan's down-to-earth charm. What was supposed to be fun-filling becomes so much more once Nathan and Tess yield to the sparks that fly between them. Steamy sensual passion strokes a love that can't be ignored. When Tess returns home far away from Diamond Creek, she is confronted with just how much Nathan means to her and is dragged into complications by her unscrupulous ex. Nathan has no question that Tess is the woman for him, but he's willing to follow her anywhere to prove it. Can Tess let down her guard long enough to follow her heart? Oh wow, there you go. <laughs> this seems like an interesting adult romance because they did say they're steamy times in this book. <laughs> but I've never really read a book set in Alaska before, so I'm excited for this one. Okay, the next book that I have is What's Left of Me by Amanda Maxlin. This is the first book in the What's Left of Me series and it is 329 pages and is free still at the moment. Life works in mysterious ways. Four years ago I became known as a girl with cancer. I refused to cry and I refused to give in. A relationship with a man is the last thing I'm looking for right now but one night with Parker changes everything. He is persistent and he knows what he wants me he doesn't treat me like i'm fragile but he doesn't know and i'm not ready to tell him what if it changes everything tragedy found me when i was 17 love found me when i was 21 my name is andrea mccall and this is my journey oh wow it says what's left of me is book one in a powerful emotional and steamy love story <laughs> so this seems really really interesting i haven't read a cancer book i think since the vault in our stars so that'll be interesting but this seems really good to me at the moment <laughs> okay the next book that i have is feels like home by evelyn adams and this is the first book in the sutherlands series and this is also 212 pages and is still currently free. No one knew what it cost her to come home. With her career going down in flames and a family history that reads like a bad tabloid, Autumn Maddox can't afford any more PR disasters if she wants to hold her head up in her old hometown. So she's going to do the impossible. Smile brightly and at every insincere murmured, bless your heart, ignore the not so subtle dig and pretend that the town's sexiest bachelor isn't a nutch. Eunuch? E-U-N-U-C-H. What is that word? I've never seen that word before. Oh well, here we go. The minute he laid eyes on her again, his life turns upside down. Town doctor Jude Sutherland is known for two things, saving lives and ducking marriage. So when he almost runs Autumn down in the middle of Main Street and ends up sipping sweet tea with the prodigal daughter of a, of the prodigal, proj daughter a few weeks later. Sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing words. <laughs> the good townsfolk take notice. As far as Jude's concerned, the last woman anyone would pair him with is the only one he wants. As far as Autumn and the town are concerned, this means war. Jude's determined to be her knight in shining armor, but Autumn gave up on happily ever afters, small southern towns, and herself a long time ago. What's it going to take to convince the ladies, auxiliary, and the rotary club, and the woman of his dreams that their love is meant to be? Oh, this is cute. This seems really cute. Looks like a cute little fluffy read. <laughs> the next book that I have is Princess of Ice by Nadia Skriba. Scriba. Scriba? I'm sorry. This book is currently free still right now and it is 314 pages. She started a revolution under the sea. Now she must escape to a foreign land to survive. Left with no other options, a destitute daughter of a murdered king must flee to Alaska, doing all she can to keep her younger sister safe. Azuria tries to assimilate and work among the Americans. She tries to hold her head up high even at the lowest places until she meets a somber man in a dark corner with eyes that remind of home. Trevane Murphy is a successful crab fisherman who has spent his life building an empire on the sea. When a graceful dancer captures his attention, he becomes fascinated with her old-fashioned speech and unique mannerisms. 
Learning that her father has recently died, he cannot resist extending his kindness and offering to guide and protect her. As it becomes clear that the dark-haired woman is much more than she seems, Trevane is unprepared to uncover the staggering secrets behind her innocent facade. Neither the captain nor the princess can imagine their lives will become foreseeably entwined as a common enemy threatens both of their worlds. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so this seems maybe like a, a mermaid story? Maybe? That's what I'm predicting? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but this seems really cute and again another book in Alaska and I've never read a, a book set in Alaska before so I have two now. <laughs> the next book that I have is You Make Me by Erin McCarthy. This book is the first in the Blurred Line series and is 317 pages. It is also still currently free. The guy she wants isn't the guy she needs. Growing up on the coast of Maine with a revolving door of foster siblings, Caitlin spent one intense and passionate year falling in love with her foster brother Heath. Then he left without a word. Determined to move on in college, Caitlin has risen above her small town impoverished roots and has joined a sorority, reinvented her appearance, and landed the right boyfriend in fracked president Ethan. But the perfect world she tried so hard to attain is ripped apart when Heath appears one night out of nowhere. Out of the military, Heath is as brooding and intense as ever and is determined not only to win her back, but to exact revenge on anyone who kept him from her. And when one love allows her to breathe, but the other feels as essential to her life as air, how does she choose between them? Whoa, that seems really good. I don't know about y'all, but that seems good. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of like a sucker for these kinds of books. I don't know, like a guy coming back into a girl's life and being like, I was wrong, like take me back kind of thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. The next book that I have is Sink by M. E. Rines. And this is the first book in the Mermaid Royalty series. And this book is still currently free and is 300 pages on the dot. Obedience has always been a matter of survival for 16 year old mermaid princess Pauline. Her mother is the tyrannical queen Calypso who rules the kingdom of Artagantis with an iron trident. To utter one word against her would mean banishment or worse. So Paulina bites her tongue and minds her manners. But on the eve of her sister's merling shower, all of that is about to change. Confronted with the truth about what happens to the human men who are betrothed to the mermaids of Artagantis, Pauline realizes she can stay silent no more. Determined to end the queen's dark tradition, Pauline goes along on a search for a shipwreck of survivors, secretly planning to free them, but things get complicated when she finds herself inexplicably drawn to one of the men. Before she realizes what's happening, she has kissed him, and a kiss from a mermaid is not without consequences. Now Pauline will have to risk everything if she is to save the young man and thwart the queen's dark plans. Ooh, so we have another mermaid book. This seems really interesting. I want to know what happens to mermaids after they kiss men, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Next I have His to Protect by Elena Aitken, Aitken, and this is book one in Bears of Grizzly Ridge series. And this is a paranormal shifter romance series. It is 196 pages and is still currently free. Every shifter has a mate. She's his. All he has to do is convince her what they have between them is more than just lust. Much more. When Harper Bentley's life begins a death spiral, she does what any self-respecting woman would do. She heeds for the mountains, more specifically Grizzly Ridge, a brand new and very remote lodge in the woods of Montana. The last thing she expects to find there is a deliciously sexy Axel Jackson, who is more than a little wild himself and reigniting feelings she has long since buried. From the moment he lays eyes on her, Axel knows Harper is more than just a guest at his lodge, much more. Every bear shifter has a mate. She is his, and whether his brothers believe in faded mates or not, nothing will keep Axel from what is his. But first, he'll need to convince Harper that what she's feeling is more than lust. It's fate. Ooh, another fate series. Oh my goodness. I love books with mates in them. I just love them. I'm a sucker for them. So I'm looking forward to this one a lot. <laughs> the next book that I have is Eternal by W.J. May. This book is still currently free and is 202 pages. It is also the first in a fae paranormal romance of the Queen's Alpha series. I will fight for what is mine. When the king is murdered, Katrina, his only daughter, must flee for her life. She finds herself on a strange and dangerous path alone for the first time. She is forced to rely upon her wits and the kindness of strangers while protecting her royal secret at all time. Because she alone knows the truth, it was her brother who killed the king and he's coming for her next. Alone and struggling, she finds herself an instant target until a mysterious protector comes 
to her aid. Together with a collection of the most unlikely friends, the group must navigate through an enchanted world just as a fantastical as it can be deadly. But time is not on their side. When her brother's assassins are closing in at every turn, Katarina must unlock a secret that's hidden deep inside her, and the only thing strong enough to keep the darkness at bay. Can she find the answer she needs? Will she ever take her rightful place on the throne? Only one thing is certain, she's running out of time. Be careful who you trust, even the devil was once an angel. Wow. Okay, so I believe this is also a YA book. It seems really interesting. I'm not really in the mood for it right now, but I bet later on in a couple weeks, month, I may get into it. The next book that I have is Don't Let Go by Michelle Lynn. And this is a book in the Invisible series. This book is 212 pages and is still currently free on Amazon. Sadie Miller is attempting to change her ways and hide somewhere no one knows her formal self. She only wants to finish her final year of college, obtain her degree, and get out of the hold of her affluent parents. Then she meets Brady Carson, the lead singer of the Invisibles, a popular local band in her college town. She tries to stay away but quickly realizes that although he might not be what she's used to, he's exactly what she needs and more importantly, everything she could possibly want. Unfortunately, Sadie's troubled past left her with insecurities that make her question Brady's true intentions. And while Brady is convinced that Sadie is the one for him, he has his own secrets that he fears will be their undoing. If they want to be together, they will have to stand united and fight the outside influences that are threatening to tear them apart. Can they put their pasts behind them for good in order to secure their future? Wow, another romance book? That I'm looking forward to. There are just too many. <laughs> Hopefully I will get to this one soon. And the next book that I have is Your Irresistible Love by Layla Hagen. And this is the first book in the Bennett Family series. And this is currently still free on Amazon and is 327 pages. Oh, this is a long synopsis. Here we go. <laughs> Sebastian Bennett is a determined man. It's the secret behind the business empire he built from scratch. Under his rule, Bennett Enterprises dominates the jewelry industry. Despite being ruthless in his work, family comes first for him, and he'll do anything for his parents and his eight siblings, even if they drive him crazy sometimes, like when they keep nagging him to get married already. Sebastian doesn't believe in love until he brings an external marketing consultant, Ava, to oversee the next collection launch. She's beautiful, funny, and stubborn as he is. Not only is he obsessed with her delicious curves, but he also finds himself willing to do anything to make her smile. He's determined to have Ava, even if she's completely off limits. Ava Lint has one job to do at Bennett Enterprises, make the next collection launch unforgettable. Daydreaming about the hot CEO is definitely not on her to-do list. Neither is doing said CEO. The consultancy she worked for has a strict policy, no fraternizing with clients. She won't risk her job. Besides, Ava knows better than to trust men with her heart. But their sizzling chemistry spirals, in spirals into a deep connection that takes both of them by surprise. Sebastian blows through her defenses, one sweet kiss and one sinful touch at a time. When Ava's time as a consultant at his company comes to an end, will Sebastian fight for the woman he loves or will he end up losing her? This sounds good. <laughs> I read another Layla Hagen book maybe a month or two ago and I really really enjoy that one so hopefully this one will be the same as well. The next six books are part of the Moon series that I talked about both in the series I'm obsessed with video and my March wrap up. So if you want to know what this series is about, go check out those videos. This video is already long enough as it is right now. I don't want to add on to more of it. Basically, it's a shapeshifter book about werewolves and I am obsessed with it. Oh, and these are all by Lisa Kessler and I bought the first six books in the month of March. The first book is Moonlight. The second book is Hunter's Moon. The third book is Blood Moon. The fourth book is Harvest Moon. The fifth book is Ice Moon. And the sixth book is Blue Moon. And I finished Blue Moon in April, so that one is not in my March wrap-up. It will be in my April wrap-up. But yeah, I got all six of those books in the month of March. The first book was free back when I got it. It's not anymore. And all of these books are now $3.99. 
but you could get a bundle of them for 31 bucks all eight books for 31 dollars so there you have it so there y'all go um that was my march ebook haul i downloaded a lot of free books this month i love downloading free books i hope that y'all do as well and maybe some of you will go out and download some of these also let me know down below if any of these books sparked your interest i would love to know or if you've even read any of them i would love to start up a conversation with you about them anyways thank y'all so much for watching and i will see y'all soon with a new video bye